What's up, YouTube? It's you, it's Jab back with another video. Today's video, as I was talking about the title, is another Catch and Cook. Today's Catch and Cook is with Ladyfish, or locally known as an Avava. This fish is a process to cook. I hate it. Um, but the end result is good, as you guys are going to see from watching the video. And today's video is kind of like one of those tutorial videos we show you how to, um, you know, prep it, clean it, cook it, all of that. So if you guys ever catch one, don't throw it back thinking it's, you know, unedible or the process is too long. Just stick around, watch the video, and you guys will see. It might be a little bit longer than you would think of many fish. Like, your normal fish, you just clean it, you know, you can throw it in a pan. This one's a little different, but I can tell you it's way better than normal fish. <laughs> it's the process is what makes it so good, I, I, in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And, um, hey, yo, yo, run these numbers up. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are these numbers looking like? Come on. Let's flip these numbers backwards. <laughs> And um, if you guys like the if you guys like this content, please stick around. We got a lot more content coming up. I have a whole bunch of clips I need to edit, and you know it's a some banger clips in there. Some I didn't even know I had. This is but it's like older clips. So if it, we ever have a dull like week where we don't have any um like footage, I can always go into that and pull something out of there. Sorry if it's a little bit of older clips, you know, but hey, still something. Don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that jazz, jazz. Tell your friends about it because the content is fire. Trust me. Um, I appreciate the support in the last video, man. You guys showed mad support. I appreciate it. It motivates me to push out more content. And um, sorry the videos aren't so consistent. I have this channel, my gaming channel. Link's going to be down below. Go check it out. Um, that I have to edit on. You know, it's hard for me. One person got to edit two different videos in one day. So I'm sorry if it's not consistent. But I've tried my best to be consistent. Because obviously you guys like the content. You guys showed mad support, like I said, on the last video. So, I um, mean, yeah, I appreciate it. But that's all from me. Till next time. See ya. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jav here. I don't know what this guy is. And I wasn't nice. gonna make a video on this because it was just one of those short little fishing nights. But you know what they say? It's the ones that you don't expect it that stuff happened. Um, so, coming up at, on this episode, we actually caught a fish. And you guys are gonna see what fish that is in the bucket right now. I would show you, but let's just show you guys on video. Um, so now we're gonna check bait, and I'll bring you guys along for that. So let's get it. <laughs> Alright guys, so okay. we hooked up. Um, I didn't have any of my recording, any of the um, the camera recording equipment set up. Because I just casted my first bowl thinking nothing. And then um, I went to put the bell on and the reel just started screaming. Like, I got something serious on here. I've been fighting it for a while. Trying to figure out the whole GoPro situation. And um, it took countless amounts of runs. I can't even imagine. As you guys can see, it's running right now. This thing's big, bro. I got my GoPro. So I'm gonna try and horse it in, but I'm playing with fire. This is a light, small reel, light line. Just tap the screen. It does that. Yes, sir, baby. <laughs> Bring them on, big dog. And this is the dangerous part of the fight. It's always the closest that gets dangerous. I see it. That would explain why it, it ran so crazy. How's that, guys? <laughs> Fish cake, baby. Fish cake. So yeah, that yeah. Was less than a few minutes. All right, guys, I'm gonna look at the better camera and the better light, and we'll be right back. Um, we just thought we'd take a stroll before tomorrow's adventure to the zoo. We go take a little cast down the beach. You guys can see the pole right here in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, yeah, we thought we'd take a stroll and go see what it's about. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have any of the camera stuff set up because we just got to the beach and I was gonna throw a pole in the water while I set up the camera stuff and this happened. Yeah, we caught a fish. Can you say fish cake? 
So I did get some of it on film, thanks to the, the, these guys, cameraman one, cameraman two. We did get it on film, like portions of it. Um, yeah. Oh, here's this thing. Oh, yeah. What's that, dude? Dude, what is it? Captain, brother, captain. What is it? No, don't, don't shine at the camera. What is it? Flashlight. Oh, okay, what's that? You got it. What is that called? A fish. Yeah, it's yeah, a fish. You. All right, so stay tuned for the action. We'll tune you guys in. I have all the camera stuff set up, so if we catch anything, y'all will know about it. Big. And then let's get it. So all right, guys, so I'm reeling this in, and it's really heavy for some reason. Possibly fish, possibly not. I don't know. But to be sure, don't want to turn the camera on. I think I crossed this pole. Alright, so no fish, but no bait as well. So let's rebait this pole. My other pole started going off, so I'll crank that in and we'll get back to you. Alright, so I heard ratchet, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if we're on or not. Well, I'll keep you guys on standby. I need to go, I got other stuff to do. Hold up. All right guys, so this guy is gonna check his bait right now. Cause he's been out there for a little while. Probably doesn't have bait. <laughs> yes sir. Gotta Try feed the fun of crabs, you know what I mean? Yes sir. Try not to drag him on a salmon while we get stuck. Lead not cheap, you know. Oh look, this guy says, look like he gonna broke my pole. Nah, 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 gotta, gotta take this stuff out the sand, if not. <laughs> gotta stop feeding a ton of crabs, bro. Yes, sir. I didn't know I'd throw them out there, huh? I think the crab just should drag it <laughs> no, I think you chewed that far. You've got an extra distance. The current is in dragon a little bit more. That's why you heard this. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can cross your own line? There yeah, we go. That's what I call great casting. Yes, sir. See, that is what I call accuracy. When you cross your own line. That, my friends. You know that. See, see this guy? Perfect accuracy. Wow. Stick it beat. It's the corner crab sleeping tonight, guys. Sorry about this tapping again. I'm um, trying to fucking see the screen so I see what I can do. So you usually in this spot that we're fishing, I'm going to tell you guys where we're at because I don't care. Um, we're on Makah Beach on the west side of Oahu. And usually when we come over here and fish, we don't come back with bait. So can you grab that hook? It's said something. We usually don't come back with bait. And apparently he came back with bait. So I that's the corner crab's not hungry. Yeah. So that's one pull. And then crack up his other one. The one that he just didn't cross the line because he has fabulous accuracy. That took practice, by the way. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> you can just cast lines. Like you cross lines, bro. You gotta practice, practice. We will do a setup video later, how we set up our poles and stuff. Like I said, this video was not, um, it was just one of those last minute kind. I didn't think I was gonna really make a video today. And I ended up hooking up something. I was like, oh, let's start in the video. So I didn't do any of the setup. Ooh. Oh, as you guys can see. Yeah. But there's a trap. Sorry about the tapping. I want to see what I'm doing. Oh, so as you guys can see here, I don't know how well you guys can see that. No bait. No bait. Corner crab, baby. This guy corner is like crab. the corner crab whisperer. So I'm going to go check my poles. He'll probably hold the camera out. I won't crank up a lot. I'll just crank up one. Oh, shit, my bad. I'll just crank up one and then, uh, yeah. Time to see if we can feed the corner crabs on this one. So this is never a good sign. Braid. Don't like to cast braid. But we go. I'm running the whole line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like, I'm on reef, guys. He was cranking slow. I gotta crank cross because I'm on reef. That's how you do it right there, guys. You don't do put a key pumps and just stroke them, guys. Yes, you know. Stroking right there. I just gonna say Stroke them, dog. Stroke them. <laughs> Hold up. Let me get my line on the feet. Okay. 
first off, you're gonna get guns like this. That's <laughs> it. There's only one way to get guns like that. They call them power stroking dogs. Yes, sir. So I came back with a little bait. A very minimal bait. As you guys can see. Oh, well, my light turned off. I'll fix that right now. Hold on. Yeah, boys. Take there two. we go, guys. You guys ready? Oh, you're gonna get guns like this. Yes, one. sir. Two Portuguese pumps and stroke. There you go. <laughs> stroke them, dog. Stroke them. I told em. you, I stay on read. <laughs> I'm gonna crank fast. I gonna fucking lose my lead. Uh huh. You guys know why that right hand strong, eh, bro? <laughs> <laughs> eh. See, when you gotta crank conventionals. That's why the Ugo is no bite, they know. I break necks. What do you mean? Go for stroke, bro. Go for stroke. Hold up, I got salt water on my other camera. Uh -huh. Oh, oh what the go. we got there? Oh, see, now this is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. Nice job you got there, Mr. Pirate. Nice job. No, it's just it's just wrapped in a current. No worry. No worry. Yeah. See ya. Expertise that. You taught it. Oh, grind that bait, dog. I'll give you a freaking potato chip. <laughs> Hold on, wait, where's my camera? Yeah. Alright, so that was me checking bait. We'll get to him casting because this is gonna be a funny one, trust me. <laughs> okay guys, so I forgot that we was actually recording. Um so when I put bait, I fold it. I go like this, I hook it again, still using the glove because I'm not getting stink. And I would, I'm gonna leave it like this, I don't, I don't want to choke the hook. This is actually a giant thing, this is gonna be a big fish. Now, here, put on the bait, same thing, fold it, try not to get dirty, hook it, and hook it, and then, um, I would hook it again. So they say don't choke the hook. I really don't care. Honestly. And I choke the hook. It's probably not a good idea, but I've, I've hooked almost every fish that I've had a bite from. So I'm going to go take this glove off and record this guy casting because this is about to be funny. Trust me. Got my bottle of Wonderloo. It's just water. It's just water. <laughs> Nothing special. So if by chance you get on good cast, no worry, that's not the issue water. Oh you know that. You guys might want to turn away right about now. <laughs> but yes. let's just see if we can get this guy for lunch. I'm um, hopefully I'm trying not to get wet, so I might be a little ways and I don't want to get hit by the lead. Um because we're on the beach, he's drag casting. If you guys don't know what it is, we'll do a video on that. But here we go. Okay, so that was actually a good cast. Tell us how that cast went, sir. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm like Mozart with this pole, man. <laughs> Hopefully we can turn him into a fish. So, That's not just pretty casting. Huh? As you guys can see, empty the reel. I I'll compliment that cast, all right? Now we just tighten up the pole, you know? Uh, loosen off the drag, can you loosen off the drag? Set the drag. Oh, my light went off. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Light went off. Light's back on. Okay. And put the bell on the thing. On. Right there. The thing about these, these nitro little poles, they come factory made with these little pole bell holders. So that's really good. I like that. Um, this pole is really old. This sticker means that I've caught a little on it before. So yeah. My first Ulua, funny enough, was actually caught on this pole. So, go say something. Yeah, yeah. that's that, we'll do one more, and then, uh, now we're gonna take two with the second pole. That was actually a great cast. Um, surprisingly enough, under pressure, this guy can cast. Don't worry guys, he doesn't always cast like that. I think it's because the camera. Man. Oh, so you know, just love when you just cast it and then reach out to Kauai. Sorry, my light keeps turning off. As you guys can tell by the freshly spooled reel, he doesn't always cast that good. Good. Get the bell ready. 
And like I said, these nitros come factory made with these little bell holders. I'm gonna turn the light on so you guys can see. Hold up. As you guys see, that's my ring light. It's from my room. This is actually my gaming light. But I thought, why not bring it so we have better quality? So like you guys can see that. Um, I'm gonna go record me casting on mine. Hopefully, I don't do bad. So that was him. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see now, my brothers. We're gonna see now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's hear that beep. It's on. You, you live. Okay, guys. Here we go, my brothers. You guys might not see too much footage from this GoPro. This is only the action camera for mm -hmm. if we hook up. So we all caught a glimpse of me in my casting sesh. Oh, y'all don't want to Now it's this. time to watch brother Javin. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Yes, uh, not bad, not bad. One day, brother, gonna probably be as good as me. I mean, wow, well, maybe not, but maybe you get close enough. Uh, yeah, taught the boy everything he know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, wanted to ask you, Javin, what? how does it feel to be in the presence of a casting legend like me? They call me Yoda, you know, when it comes to this kind of stuff. You like Yoda? Yeah. You like the little green guys, that eh, with pointed ears. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Wow. Well. Nothing. What? You said pull. This guy. Sorry, guys. False alarm. Oh. Somebody still better get them all excited a little bit too much. One thing go, that I've always told, always notice, better for take that two seconds for retire than for not and lose the fish of your life because you're too lazy for retire. So as you guys can see right here, I don't know how good you guys can see it on camera, but this little fuzz came from up here. Right here, you guys see this? Oh, don't ask me what happened to this, but yeah, my line's all freaking hammer jammers. <laughs> Small kind <of> fuzzy. <laughs> but like I said, better to take that couple seconds, retie, than lose a fish of your life because you was too lazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and don't forget, my brothers, when you do bite that line off, um, try to take the opala. Yeah, please. yeah. I just want to say that. Don't. I'm dropping it on the ground, but I will pick it back up. It is next to my pole. Yeah. Again, we're not pointing nobody, we're not the kind, but you know, just everybody do their share, you know, keep the keep the place a little bit nicer than how you And I highly I don't recommend biting the line with your teeth. I'm pretty sure it's bad for your teeth, but I don't really care. I ain't got clippers on me. I should have though. But always wet the line if not. Yeah. Bring it up. Mm-hmm. Just like that. In like less than yeah. in less than 10 seconds. Back with up a little bit of saliva, cuz. Less than 10 seconds, you're back up and ready, ready to cast. Back up and ready. <laughs> so, Let's this pole, I'm, I'm like God tier with this pole. But, because I have brain. It's gonna hit brain, and then dead. That's the only thing I said about brain. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't get, I got long pants on. I ain't trying to get wet. But, that's the only downside to braid as you guys can see it does um stop your line and i used to have a full spool but i forgot to re-spool in like a couple trips already uh, that's what happened when you get one too many backlashes my brother oh no that's what happened when you get them good <laughs> and you know can turn them around you know what i mean no no but it's from stuff like this where the line gets all bust up and i just cut it off okay. so yeah that was casting and uh, stick around, we'll be back if we got any action. If not, we're gonna probably do one more bait check, then dip out, and we'll come back for the catch and cook part of the, the fish we have in the bucket that you guys would have already seen. See ya. So we just hooked up. Um, apparently sure. tonight is sure. one of those nights Keep it where... Keep it it's burning. That's me over you. Press the button. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Well done, good job with cat. Oh, I 
dog. I don't think I want you dog. For real. Why did you get Um, this little thing did all that ping panging. <laughs> <laughs> so we just caught this little freaking thing. Um, y'all should have seen the ping panging it was doing. It's like. Bang, 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 bang. Um, and his line got hit in the process, I think. No, yeah. No, we're not. Um, sir, the, the corner crabs get your line? Small kind of corner crab <laughs> action, dog. <laughs> we got everybody here. All right, so that's that. Um, I'm going to take this off, recast, and we'll be back if we get action. Well, this guy hooked up. Would have been earlier, but getting a little bit technical. The ice had a bite, then he hooked up. Just bring it in! Oh, boost, boost the thing! Goddamn! Probably just on top of it. Top it. So he just caught a top it, as you guys can see. My man was paying him like it wasn't really good. This dude, that's real. Right, I'm gonna swap batteries and we'll be back. Pretty fat. Alright, so guys, so it's currently, I don't even have my phone on me, it's probably like almost 12 <laughs> o'clock at night. Um, I gotta go to the zoo tomorrow. I'm gonna make a video on that. Honolulu Zoo, watch for that. Um, and we gotta get up early, so I'm gonna wrap it up, call it right here. I'm gonna crank up my pose and head out. Stay tuned because there is, like I said, we did catch a fish, and I will be doing a catch and cook on that because that thing is like delicious. There's so much different ways you can cook it, but the way I'm gonna cook it, it's delicious. Stay tuned for that, and we'll see y'all guys in the kitchen. So one last thing I do, I know I said that we'd we'll see you in the kitchen, I lied. Um, I crank up one pull at a time. I don't know if anybody else does that. Me personally, I've had a lot of times where I'm over here cranking up, doing my thing, putting away rigs, and just get a last minute one, the pull you start screaming. So that's, that's what I do. Um, I don't know, maybe a cool little tip you guys can take in. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go wrap this up, and we'll see y'all later. Sir, remember guys, it ain't over until the fat lady sings, sure. baby. All right, what's up guys? So that's it. We just wrapped up at the car. Um, as you guys can see, we packed the sh out of this car. Um, here's the fish we caught. You guys would have seen it by now. It's in a bucket because, like I said, it was a last minute trip. We didn't bring any cooler. We didn't bring any ice. We didn't plan this. But it's really cold tonight. As you guys can see, my I'm dressed in like really warm clothes because it's cold oh, tonight. Yeah. Um, the water's cold in that bucket, so the fish is still cold. And what you was going to say earlier. Hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But tonight, we won. One for the home, one for the Ohana. It's all we need, man. Yes, sir. Like he said. Keeping it real. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And tonight was one of those when we won. I'm not going to lie. Every, not every time we come in here, we catch a fish. Um, sometimes it takes a long time. We just was lucky enough that, you know, we caught one really early. It was only like a couple hour trip. We have something to do tomorrow. And um, we really got lucky. And we got blessed with one today. Yep. So we're going to take that home. We're going to show you guys how we... Um, prep it to go into the freezer and then prep it to get cleaned and then cook so we'll see you guys at the house yes sir. all right y'all remember that's why they call it fishing and not catching yes, sir see y'all later what's up guys so we're back at the kitchen i got the fish in the um sink don't mind the fucking dog barking. and um, i'm just going to show you guys how i prep it to clean it this is a crucial thing i think you need to do when you work with this fish or the other bone fish locally known as uio in hawaii is i freeze it for a day because that um takes the meat a lot softer and it's a lot easier to spoon out this guy behind the camera is being a comedian right now so i'm and it's like 12 o'clock at night right? it's late so i'm just gonna put this in the bag and we're gonna throw it in the freezer and we'll come back tomorrow with the with the um cleaning part sorry about the fucking dogs bro they're like just losing it right now so you guys can come over here this is the fish we caught it's an ava ava or known as ladyfish whatever you want to call it so I just put it in the trash bag. Don't mind the sink, bro. I took the camera on me. That sink is dirty. Um, so I just put it in a bag. Tie this little up right here. Um, just keeping it real, gang, gang. No Hollywood studios here, bro. It's a dirty ghetto house. A bunch of food in here. So it's in the freezer. Um, so we'll come back tomorrow after the zoo. 
and we'll take this out, defrost it, we'll clean it, and we'll get it ready to cook. So we'll see y'all then. Peace. Peace. So what's up guys? Last time we left off, I was putting the fish in the freezer. Um, it's been a few days, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go out there, clean the fish, and we'll take y'all right now. you guys would have seen was the time lapse of me cleaning the fish but that was last of me now i got this guy back in the camera he's back he was doing some stuff um we're about to show you guys how to like properly prepare this fish like cut it up and all that so we'll jump right into that right now so, how's it gang so here we are one fine special specimen of one ava ava or lady fish as some call it this fish here for those who may not know, actually has a lot of bones. And the best way to prepare this fish is to scrape the meat and to make fish cake. Now, there's a couple ways. Um, there's a toothpaste method where you basically beat the fish up, make a slit at the tail, grab a rolling pin, and you just roll, the, roll down the fish's body and the meat will basically come out of the slit like toothpaste out of a tube. The way we like to do it is to butterfly the fish open. Um, just for me, it's more comfortable. I get to see too if there are any bones or anything. I don't have to go and mush everything up once I'm done, which you might have to do with the toothpaste method. Okay, so with that said, I got my knife, got my chopping board. Remember now, uh, the most, most dangerous knife in the kitchen is a dull knife. Last thing you want to do is have to saw, slip, and cut, and then after that, can only count to nine <laughs> so here we go gang okay i'm gonna start my slits show you how we fillet and show you how we scrape the meat okay gang so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna butterfly both sides so we can basically sit the fish upright and butterfly it open completely like this so what i am gonna do is i'm gonna make a slice along the top cut here make a slit here butterfly past the center bone and just before I come out the skin on this side I'm gonna stop so that I can butterfly that side open and then I'll repeat it and do it on the other side so here we go gang and uh, by the way we are squeezing out scraping out the meat so as far as presentation goes, you don't need to worry about making it really, really nice because we're gonna scrape the meat out anyway. And I also know that people say, do not put your fish in the freezer, but this fish, you have to freeze it. I mean, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend freezing it because as you guys can see already, the meat is like falling off of the this, like fish itself because of that. I don't know, you guys heard that. There's like a whole bunch of bones in here. So that's nice white meat. Mm -hmm. I've only ate a few of them, you know, but the one that I did eat was really good. So, that's why we kept this one. Might as well eat it. And might as well get content out. Why not? We get to eat a really delicious fish and you guys get to watch us through the process of it. So sure. it's a win-win on both sides of it. Again, don't worry about how the thing looks or, you know, we, all need, we don't need to be professional fish cutters. Like I said, we're going to scrape the meat out anyway, so. Now that I got this one side done, I'm gonna flip it, repeat it on the other side. It's easier if you butterfly both sides and then scrape. Don't butterfly one side, scrape, and then try to do the other side because 
It's a little bit more difficult if you do it that way. So with that being said, and also, oh, I'll, I'll go, let's wait till he cuts the other side. Then I'll, I'll mention something. So he's trying to like keep it flat. It's a, I found flaying fish a lot easier when it's like that when both sides are on. You guys are about to hear a tap real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to check something. Oh, sorry about that. Usually you don't see people keep fish like this, like the alpha locally known in Hawaii or also known as ladyfish or a common known one that everybody knows, bonefish or as it's locally known here in Hawaii, oeo. You don't see people keep them because they have, like he mentioned, they do have a lot of bones and as you guys can see it is a process to eat it. But anything that is a process to go through is always usually good. Yes, sir. Especially like the crabs. Like our other video, the black crab video, if you guys haven't seen that, go watch it, it's on our channel. But if you guys have, like you guys seen, that one was a, like, ridiculous. That was like a couple days. It almost like, pretty, pretty sure it took us a week to get that video done. But, with that being said, it was so good that, like, we don't have any more. So, yeah, hopefully we do another, another one of those. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. trim up the other side a little bit too a little bit more and as you guys can see I made him do this part because I had to clean the thing so um yeah this is his part mm -hmm. and then, you know just be a little bit patient it'll take some work but trust me just like with the crabs it'll be well worth it all right so now that we got our section butterfly Washing, right? yeah, like I was gonna mention earlier, but I stopped because he was cutting it. So, as you guys can see, there's not too much blood in the meat because that's another crucial part of something like this, and especially bonefish or eel. When you catch it, it is almost mandatory that you bleed the fish out as soon as you catch it. You do that, you'll end up with nice meat like this with minimal blood in it. If not, you'll just have a giant blood like going down the middle of this, and a lot of this meat will not be edible. Or it'll taste very bad. Okay, so now we're gonna grab my next trusty tool, regular spoon. And all we're gonna do is just scrape the meat out. Again, there's not gonna be much bones coming out, but just to be on the safe side, I would recommend that you just go through it once just to make sure that you don't leave any bones inside because the last thing you want to do is make fish cake for your kids and end up giving them the, the bones. That little part you guys probably just heard he just nipped my finger and he hit the camera sorry about the audio we do need to upgrade that and mm -hmm. we'll get that upgraded eventually so we are working on it guys and we know with your help we can do it so um that actually went a lot more smooth than i thought it was going to be mm -hmm. and there is like i said some meat here so you know you do want to utilize the fish as best as possible no wasting okay If you butterfly it good and you scrape it good, you should actually get a pretty good yield as far as the meat goes. And with the resources and stuff like that, you know, that's the best thing for the resource is to show respect for the resource and to utilize the fish as best as possible. 
nothing will get thrown away we'll take whatever meat we can and whatever bones are left we'll actually use that freeze it and use it for a later date for crab bait okay so as you can see just about all the meat that is actually came a really out. clean yeah that is really clean all you got left Locked is your bones that. that was a really clean cut and then again we're gonna repeat on the same same thing other side and like I said, you can probably see it better on this side. So you guys see this white line going down the middle of the body. If we didn't bleed it when we caught it, that would have a lot of blood on it. And I don't know if a lot of you guys knew this, or if you guys do know this. I'm pretty sure the blood in the fish makes the fish taste not so good. It makes it have that like strong fish, fish taste. Fishy taste yeah. So me, I like fish, you know, so that strong fish taste doesn't really bother me too much. But um, sometimes it does certain fish it was bad it's really bad mm -hmm. See, unlike Oio, this one is crazy because unlike Oio, when this backbone on the spine has a lot of bones, but for some reason, Ava, I don't know, they don't, they don't have too much. Yeah. And this one too, I noticed after we froze it, it actually the meat was way. I feel like this one, tender. no, like even the last time we cooked though, on Ava, the, it was a lot more soft than the Oio was, and we froze them both at the same time. And one more time to double check. Back to the fish. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's go guys <laughs> instant diet yeah so that's clean basically yeah. see-through there we go let's put the light on the other side so you guys can see there you go it's like basically it's actually see-through um, again just trying to utilize the resource as much as we possibly can get every bit of meat and all the meats here don't worry about these portions they will be safe not tossed out we can use them for crabbing and Sometimes we can even use it to make soup. If someone's not feeling good, it's actually really, really good fish soup. Here's all the meat. Um, I'm gonna go figure out what we're doing with this real quick. And um, Sorry about that, I whacked the light on the camera. We're gonna go figure out what we're doing with this and then I'll be right back once I figure out what we're doing with this. All right, let's get it washed in hand. Here we go, and again, here we go, baby. That's what it's all about right there. Just a few simple ingredients, some hot rice and some fresh fish cake. Can't go wrong. All right, y'all, we'll be right back. See ya. So, as you guys can see by this right here, we're actually cooking it tonight. Um, apparently this is all the ingredients you need. You need some bread, some eggs, uh, that's lemon juice. All right, so, what's this thing? Hold up. Oh, that's some good stuff. See, you guys see that? That's the good stuff. And this is just burn your, your you know, your tushi. You burn your tushi with that. Um, he's over here doing this, putting all the ingredients in. My man's making a lot of noise in the background with the cutting board, my bro. Somebody gotta clean up the mess, bro. Yeah, I cleaned up the auto mess. So I'm gonna let her break all this up in here and then we'll come back when it's like more on the finish side. seen the time lapse um here's the finished product it might not look too good but i mean hey this shit look fire i'm not gonna lie this looks some crispy stuff um now it's gonna go on the stove and in the pan we'll be right back when the oil is hot and we're putting this on the pan let's get it well look um i think you should put it in i don't, I don't think oil is supposed to be smoking you know by the way oh shit i'm, I'm scared of oil guys 
put the camera on this side of my leg so I can like eat it if it gets too high. So I don't like get my camera too close. Oh yeah, see that hand roll squash I'm taking you? Oh, what about you learn dog? Oh look, I'm trying to start on fire. I'm splashing on everyone. I mean, I know 2020 was on shit too. I gotta make 2021 one too, you know what I'm saying? Get a squash technique. Oh, get up down to one science. Look, I'm. Ooh. Let's speak. You know, ask me how long we cook it, man. I just went by it. As somebody I know would say, eyes. I mean, hey, they look increased, my brother. No mind the pan, eh? Had some years on them. Tiny fish been in this pan. It's called cookie. Yeah, but guys, it's nice skillet. Oh, can all the sides for pop, boy. Hold up. Take this side. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Some down, kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yo, my brother. I, yeah, I say just filming the cooking portion. Yeah. See, I heard him upstairs yelling down to me. He just like be on a camera and be like, that one gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, call me in time for being a small light. Sad light for me, I get left behind the camera in the background and this guy can be in the spotlight uh, and then he's playing back to the food for that shit when you do it. Oh sorry about that. I'm smack a girl. Oh yeah, we have one came off of this. Paper towels make them all look better. You gotta put the paper towel, you know what I mean? Make them look professional, huh? Yeah, I know but you know how I say that, make them look professional. Everybody who cook with paper towels. Hopefully my lens never just fog up this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm getting oil all over my camera. Oh, we get problem. Oh, sh oh that, that one got me on the finger. <laughs> guys, I just got stung by the oil. The finished product and here it is that looks great i'm pretty sure this if you put this on like um hawaiian sweet bread it's like a patty kind of cheeseburger kind of thing cheeseburger like a fish burger some kind of sort of thing it would be good but me because i am a rice person i'm just gonna eat this with rice and some soy sauce we'll see how it goes so Let's catch you guys on that part of the thing. So let's go eat this fish right now. All right guys, so I just made this sauce. Um, I don't have my head mount on me right now. It's upstairs, so that's why. I just mixed it, but I added lemon juice thingy my bobby. Some soy sauce, if you don't use this, you're wrong. This is mandatory. If you guys don't have this or ever tasted this, you're a weirdo. And then some vinegar. I had a little bottle, but now I got this giant one. Um. And our patties, you can add green onion and regular onion in there, but I hate green onion. And who eats onions? You're weird. You're just or you're an ogre or something. Come on, what are we doing? But, uh, so I'm gonna set this tripod up real quick to show you guys something. Sorry about that. 
Texture set. You don't see me cool much. You see this? Like this. Open it. And you drink it. This is some good stuff. If y'all got that, y'all missing out. I'm gonna go get Sir Slacks a lot. Because he's up there lacking. And we're gonna taste this fish. Damn it, that hit the throat. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna go taste this fish. Okay, gang. So here we are. We clean, prepare, cook. And now it's time like, once again to see just how good it really, really is. So, we made our first product for take one scoop out of this. Grab a piece. This one's secret dipping sauce made by my wife. I made that. How dare you oh, disgrace my sauce? Made by my son then. Ah, same, ah, the other kind. So here we go. Good, bro. Real, oh, this guy forgot the best part. Good. Oh, so good. you know, you know what I said. Mm -hmm. I said, imagine this, okay, mm -hmm. on sweet Hawaiian bread, in between sweet Hawaiian bread. Just imagine this on your plate. <laughs> uh, yeah, kill us, brother. Don't mind that turtle in the back. He's just doing his thing. Mm -hmm. So. Just seen as catch, clean, prepare, and cook. Okay, so next time you're on Ava, you know what to do, my brothers and sisters. Fish cake. Out. Okay, your turn. So now I have my girlfriend. I don't, what are you doing with that? I just wanted a piece. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a smoke <laughs> alarm. Don't mind the smoke alarm. It's gonna be. Can you hide the smoke alarm, please? No, it's the one upstairs. Oh, it's good. Is it really good? Yeah. Don't mind the smoke alarm in the back. I hope it's the audio is still good. Sorry about that. Because we were frying fish. Um, that happened. So I'm gonna come back and test it when the smoke alarm goes off. Oh, I think it went off. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna have the camera with my girlfriend. Real quick. Now, let me see what these are about. Okay. No, it's definitely better than the other time I ate it. Smoke alarm, like it's interrupting. That's why you don't make the fire too hot for my ears. Yeah. And oil starts smoking. Alright, guys, we'll be back. To do the outro after I handle the smoke alarm, all right? We'll see y'all then. So we just wrapped up this, and then um, my girlfriend, my whoa, sister's boyfriend walked in the house. So we're gonna have him try one of these things. Okay, let me go on this side. Okay, bro, go for it. Let me know what it tastes like. By the way, guys, we're getting one honest opinion, okay? This is not being compensated for his opinion, so. Mmm. I have to take a second bite. And get them fish patties. So your thoughts on the fish, bro? Delicious. Nice. Oh no. Okay, so you guys heard it from him. Patty's me. This kid's talking. He doesn't even eat fish. Um, you guys heard it from him. It's good. Uh, we'll be right back after and I go and eat another one. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. All right, guys. What's up, guys? It's Jab back. As you guys can see, this came out over here. Late to the party as always. We gotta record an outro, and this man's taking a sweet time. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to turn the camera off, I'm just going to leave it right here and just going to do it like this. So, Jav, this is Jose, my dad. And in today's video, as you guys seen, was the Alba. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was like um, us catching it and cooking it, you know, showing that you can get your own food. You know, you don't have to rely on the store. That's for me, I don't like buying stuff. I'd rather catch it and do it myself. That's what makes living in Hawaii so special that you can go gather your own food. You know, you know where, straight where it came from, you know how it was handled, you made sure it's handled with care. And I'm at the end of the end results, as you guys can see, it came out delicious. And that's all for me. You got anything else to say? Well, we hope you guys like our video. You know, this is the second one again of many, many more to come. If you like, please subscribe, please follow. We got some exciting stuff coming up. We get new ideas for some other material. And like I said, stay tuned, man. We're gonna be putting out some not just hunting, fishing, but you know, all kinds of stuff, family outings, and that's kind of what our show is kind of based on. So 
subscribe, man. Be in on the action every single time. Like you said, y'all, stay tuned, you cartoons. Woo!